Hello, beloved, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Mystic Journey Divine, coming to you on this fabulous day. Yes, it is. The sun is shining. People are peopling. The streets are bustling. Can you feel summertime approaching? <clears throat> the heat is... <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Springtime allergies. But the heat is on, and we're enjoying the weather. I've been out all morning basking and enjoying this beautiful summer day but i'm here with you thank you for tuning in if this is your first time welcome subscribe hit that notification bell and join the family we'd love to have you if you're a one day one how do y'all what's up how you doing king queen what's happening the vibe is good it is positive let's Soak in the energy as we call to the ancestors of the highest white light above, looking below to protect us, cover us, guide us, lead us to opportunities of abundance and prosperity and good love. We ask them to come and join us in this sacred space, remove all negativity that tries to invade the messages we are to receive. We ask that. We're kept in a good place. Ashe? Ashe. Pull some cards for the ancestors. And the first card out is a grandfather spirit. Somebody, grandpa, papa, granddaddy. What other words can we use for them? Abuelo. Somebody's grandfather. It's heavy energy in the room today. If you've been seeing this number a lot lately, there's messages for you. Your grandfather has been trying to reach you to let you know you are divinely protected. Divinely protected. The blood covers you from head, from crown to sole of your feet. You are protected. You are being divinely guided. There is a message that he needs you to hear. Male or female. But I must say. That a Sagittarius feminine. If you're watching. Your papa is talking to you. You may have Sagittarius. Some moon rising north node. Venus. Yes. You have gone through a breakup, a separation, pending a divorce. You may be going through times of nostalgia with the weather getting warm, days you spent together. But you have made a choice, a decision to move on. Your grandfather is giving you the strength and the courage to move forward. How can I ease the pain when I know you're coming back again? That is a song. From my past, you may know it. If not, look it up on YouTube. How can I ease the pain when I know you're coming back in? I think Mickey Howard sings it, but it's called How Can I Ease the Pain? Listen to the words. There is a climax approaching. This person may be reaching out to you. Emotions are running high. They may have already contacted you. You have been trying so hard to release your energy, release the connection from this individual, but they are holding on with everything that they got. Your grandfather has been watching them as well as over you to keep a safe distance, to keep you in a sacred, clear space, to heal, to heal. You may have been facing some health issues recently in seclusion. Maybe you're not eating enough or with the summer vegetation not really coming in yet, you haven't been able to maybe get the right foods that you need to keep your health optimal. You are to drink more fluid. You are to incorporate some lemons in your water to help. Flush out your kidney and your liver. Very important. But the situation is about to be flipped. 
or this is what the person is hoping for to flip the situation from the way it is now to how they would desire it to be. But grandpa is saying you can do better all by yourself and they have something better waiting for you. Do not turn around, do not look back, do not engage, do not be easily manipulated, do not fall for the smooth talk. Do not fall for the depression, the loneliness, the suicidal attempts. Do not fall for any energy that this ex tries to send your way to get you to talk to them, to meet with them, to feel sorry for them. They have not been doing well since the breakup. They have a lot of karmic debts they must pay. They're always throwing shade on you. Your grandpa has heard them in places where you have not heard. And the truth is, this person is bitter, jealous even, envious of you being able to move on, to rise up in your independence, to make it on your own. They wanted you to rely solely on them for your needs, thought that you would be down and out in return to get back up on your feet. But no, beloved, your breakthrough has already been started. You're already walking into newness. Abundance, prosperity, improving health. Do not turn back to what tried to destroy you. Simply be done. Papa says, do not settle. You deserve better and the best. You are not a sponge for others to wipe away their problems. This person knows you have healing energy, a healing vibe. You have a big heart. Sensitive, caring, considering. This person is trying to plug into your heart space. Pull on those strings. Thinks they know how to get back in and sway you. Well, while improving health is approaching, this is not the time to bend and to go back. Grandpa wants you to know you got love. And you will always have love. You will always have love. There is a song called Forever Love. You might want to also listen to that song. Let's see if we can get some more information. Hmm, what should we pull from? I'm led to pull from my Egyptian karma deck. Let's see. My grandpa wants you to know that you are catered for, looked after. He's guiding you towards a better life, better opportunities. He's helping you improve on your health if that's been a concern. I don't know how your grandfather passed, if it was natural or from an illness, but if you share common health issues, but this grandfather spirit is reaching out to you, is always with you. Okay, Grandpa. I too have a grandpa who has passed on, who I know is always with me. <clears throat> we have in your first house. I believe Aries is the first house. Aries is about independence, strong will, strong desire, passion, pushing forward, overcoming the obstacles, endurance, the God of war and judgment. Do it on your own. The way you project yourself and immediately, your time is now. Do it on your own. 
You don't need anyone else. You have the blueprint. You're being divinely guided. And they are sending you help if you need it. You have Aries in your chart. Whatever zodiac is in your first house of Aries. Find out what that zodiac is. And how it leads you in the pursuit of independence. We have Leo, the strength card, endurance, resilient, the hunter, and not the prey. Do what you want. Be creative. This card is about leadership. You could be a business owner, a leader, a boss energy. This is boss energy. This is nine of pentacles. Glowing up, a glow up. Singling and mingling, getting out there in the streets and... Showing your stuff. Playful energy. We have Pluto. Do or die. Get the heart of the matter. Resurrect your passion and your desire. Maybe you've lost that creative edge. Maybe you lost your spark. Maybe you're looking for the next steps. Not sure which way you want to go. But they're saying if you move, they'll move just like that. You don't need to know the outcome or the ending. You are the beginning and the end of your story. Have it your way. And the middle part is the fun part. Enjoy the journey. It's not a race. It's a marathon. Gaze at the flowers along the way. Smell the air. Get the sun. Spend some time out in nature to heal. Pluto represents the god of the underworld in Greek mythology. Our personal dark domain to which we die and return. This is a rebirth. Scorpio energy. Ending one cycle and beginning another. The past is done. It is behind. It has been a final decision that it is over. It has ended. You are, in a situ you are in a season of transformation, of death and rebirth, and it is not easy. It comes with many challenges, some health related, definitely emotionally related. You may be facing some imbalances, some concerns. This is not to replace medical needs, so if you feel like you need to seek medical attention, for assurance and peace of mind, please do. But your grandfather that you know that you're transitioning, you're transforming into your best self. Stand up, stand on your feet, take your power back. Take your power back. All the pain is temporary, meant to teach you. Meant to teach you to grow, to know who you are, to know what you want. To know who can come and who cannot. To make cuts when necessary. But to add as well. If your boundaries are too high. Maybe take them down a little. <laughs> open that wall. Open that door. Let love in. Let the sun shine in. Nothing is guaranteed or set in stone. Don't get too attached to anything or anyone. For as the will of fortune is always turning. What is up sometimes is down, and what is down will be up again. Cycles, seasons, that's why we have seasons. Winter stillness. Fall, we let things fall away. Spring, we see signs of renewal, and summertime is a glow up. Right now, we're in spring. Things are blossoming, just beginning to grow. Seeds we planted are showing us whether or not they will manifest. This is not the time to be running ahead of yourself. This is time to be resting, pampering yourself, treating yourself well, taking it easy. Knowing that when summer comes and everything is fruitful and blossoms in full bloom, you will manifest the harvest you have planted. Your seeds will grow. You will see more prosperity. But it begins with your inner happiness, that inner glow, that inner light. The inner knowing that knows everything is going to be all right. 
because I will it to be. I decide to choose peace and joy and let no one steal either from me that I can have the day I manifest. I do not rely on the universe or others to determine the lane I'm in or the journey I take. I decide who comes along by the actions they show me and not the words they speak. Your grandfather seems to have been a warm, caring, loving energy. Masculine, strong though, forceful in his words. Not easily swayed by the opinions of others. Some may have even said he may have been stubborn. But he knew what he wanted. He knew what he liked. And that's the way life was for him. And even when it was not always the healthiest or the best in others' eyes, it worked for him. He left with no regrets. Knowing that there was nothing he could change in the end. It was his time. He wants you to forgive yourself more. To love yourself more. To recognize who you are. That you're beautiful and you are loved. And you are a beloved child of an ancestor that sits high. That will make sure this time you had the life you deserve. The life you want. Simply take his hand. Talk to him. Light the way. Give him offering. Visit the grave if you know where he is. A cemetery. The water. Speak to him. He's there for you all the time. You're a grandpa's baby. Grandpa's baby. You may have resembled him in the family. Or been the child that clinged to him the most or he adored the most, if, even if it was not spoken. You may have reminded him of your grandma, his wife, in appearance, in your energy. Somehow, he's chosen you to guide you, to sit with you, to be with you, and to make sure you are no longer used and abused and mistreated. He sees you as a beautiful butterfly. A queen in his eye. And he wants you to see yourself in the same light. That you are a queen. And you should receive the love of a king. An equal. An equal. You may be business savvy. Smart about your money. You may know how to put three thing, two things together. And make 50. <laughs> And men may feel as if you're a come up, a good catch. You can help them out. Show them how you've done it. That they can live with you. If you're already stable, just move right in. But Grandpa says, no, baby, that, that is your table. And if they can add to it in abundance, they are not invited to sit and eat and take of yours. It's okay to share. It's okay to care. But it's not okay to constantly give and then wonder when you will receive only for it to never show up equally. So mind those around you. Be aware of the red flags immediately. Don't wait. Do not repeat yourself. If it is no in your gut, it is no in your spirit. And the word should be no. Thank you. It's not for me. I wish you well, but over there, I cannot. <sighs> after breaks up, after a breakup, we go through periods of loneliness. When we wonder, will we ever love again? Will we ever trust again? Will we ever forgive again? Don't be too cautious. Love endures. True love. And if it did not, then that was not what it was. 
and enjoy it for what it is when it comes. Everything is not forever, but you can enjoy it while it lasts. And it adds to your memories of love along the way. And know that the ending is not a mistake. Just an experience to take you to the next place. And that is okay. Well, that's Grandpa's word because I'm not feeling any other energy in the room. Thank you for that message, Grandpa. We receive and we love you. We are humbled by your presence and we thank you. And we invite you to come back again and again and again. Amen. <laughs> Please hit that like button, subscribe, share the video if you can. Any channel will do. If you'd like to donate, if you'd like a reading, if you'd like to connect, if you'd like more answers to your questions, feel free to look in the box below. You can email me or log on to my website and book directly through there. Whatever you need, it's fine with me. <laughs> I appreciate you for being here, for sticking around, for getting your message. I wish you well in all you do. Know that you are never alone. You are favored. That means a lot. As above, so below. As within, so without. Have a beautiful day, beloved. Until we meet again, I wish you all the love and happiness your heart and hands can hold. Ashe, my friend. Ashe.